Google Cosplay World, we're back with another, um, continuation of my supposed vlog, a cosplay vlog at this point. So, what are we going to talk about today? Today was inspired by a conversation I had earlier with a friend of mine, and we're going to talk about how to get a cosplay commissioner. I might also make a, uh, attached one on how to start out commissioning or something, but I'm going to try and do a very, very quick... Um, overview of my, a plan, a good plan for getting a commissioner um, in 5 to 10 minutes. I'll try and keep it down, otherwise I'll just keep going on the details, which may or not be useful to people. Um, first and foremost, I will let you guys know that I am a commissioner, and so if there is biased, um, there is that. I also um, admin, moderate, or own a few marketplaces or locations to um, request commissions or various buy sell such things um, and so I have a l the insight or being in that sort of position may have biased on my um, or biased or insight on my position and within this so though first and foremost the commissioning world is the wild wild west it is very unregulated so um, I would as a starter, ask, do you want to make this yourself? This is even a question I ask people who ask me to make things. Is, would, is making this yourself a thing you'd be interested in doing? Because sometimes they're like, oh, what, you have tutorials? Oh, you ha I could totally make this myself? I would love to. Hey, that would be fun. I enjoy making things. It's a hobby. And, and I could, you know, have a great time of making things and such. <laughs> um, I enjoy making things, and I wish to share that with others. But... Um, if it is within your ability and interest to make something yourself, I would encourage those others to do so. So, then I would ask, can is it already in production? Is it available somewhere else from a manufacturer? Um, China is pretty good about getting on the popular shows and such, and will, um be happy to accommodate in many cases. Um, also with guns in particular, um, uh, with the North America, guns are very accessible no matter how you, like, random f show or anime or whatever it might be. Um, replica people are pretty good about that. <laughs> Go America, you make all kinds of fake guns. <laughs> very cheaply, at least comparatively cheaply, com cheaply compared to a, a commissioner. And the quality is impeccable in most cases within these replica gun ma manufacturers. No, cat, you cannot. No. 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 Okay, so this is going to be a thing. I can't put this away because I need this in like two seconds after I make this video, but Tochi is going to attempt to drink the the paint water. Um, Alright. So then we've established that you cannot, you don't want to make it, or you don't have the timer ability, or you just want someone else to make it and you can't just buy it. So then it has to be made. Um, and so the first place I would look would be to your friends. Now this is a bit, um, this has its own issues. Uh, if you ask your friends and such, there is the difficulty of if it goes wrong, uh, y it may be hard on the relationship. Um, I wish, or I hope that people who um, try to help each other out with uh, with, uh, with these kind of things, uh, understand that it is a uh, contract between two people, and that it is held up. It's not. It's very often, or it's hard to keep that kind of professional level between friends, or have that sort of understanding. So I, underst I get that you would maybe want to go to a professional, because it would just be awkward or uncomfortable to do so. But with a friend, with a friend, you can at least um, maybe keep more in contact with them, they have a better understanding of what you want, you have a better understanding of their abilities, um, and you may get a slight discount, uh, the friend discount, I would not push it personally with someone who is trying to earn an income that is not always, uh, it's not always received very well if you try and um, push a, f a discount with your friends and so forth. Uh, but it could be successful, um, so I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna discount that. So then, 
you don't know any people or you would rather not ask your friends or associates to make something. Well, do you know any friends or associates that have had things made? Because then you can, or had, have had things made similar to what you're looking for, I should say. Um, because then they may also be able, you may also be able to get that, what you're looking for from the same commissioner. This is good because you get to have hands-on experience with their construction methods, their quality. You get a little bit of insight from the person who had the thing commissioned as to the tendencies and abilities of the commissioner and their experience. And it's always good to have that kind of referral or understanding within uh, commissioning because it, the consistency is important. Um, now, if you cannot do that, you may want to then make a post. You may want to then make uh, uh, reach out to a professional of sorts. Uh, now, whatever degree of professional you're looking for, uh, if it's within your budget or if you're looking for a specific thing, I can't, I'm not going to go into details in that respect. Um, but it, uh, just general guidelines for looking f for better success rates because um, it what we've already established that this is something you can't buy or and it has to be made, and so if at all possible. I would recommend someone who has made many, many of these things, or many, many of these similar things. Say you need a Power Rangers costume. It's, I feel if it's within your ability um, to get someone who has made many, many Power Rangers costumes, um, because they've got the experience and that they have uh, shown that they can produce this at a relative quality, a uh, consistent quality, and they're, uh, they're good about it. Right, they're, they 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 made maintained a business as it were, but if it's something completely new or different or so obscure that it has to be made for very likely the first time, um, then you'll need to fall back fall back upon other uh, insights. Things like uh, a portfolio are absolutely key. Um, people with large portfolios show that they do consistent work regularly. Especially when you're looking for a specific item, you want to see specific items within that portfolio. Um, now, there is a um, a degree which they can vary, but I don't have a lot of confidence asking someone who has ex entirely EVA foam armor to uh, do, say... Mm, resin casting or to do sewing because they haven't quite demonstrated that ability uh, at, unless they do so, right? Like you want to see some demonstration of ability. Um, you also uh, want, when you're working with a commissioner, to be very clear about what you're looking for. Um, and there should be... Uh, I want to be clear about this and say you want to be descriptive with them. You don't want to be rude. There there, there can be kind of a uh, slight line between being demanding and being descriptive. Um, and that, that's more of um, a wordplay kind of scenario. Uh, so, uh, I, I prefer uh, personally to have a main reference art or main ref reference image. And then whatever I can't gain, whatever information can't be gained from that main reference image, to have supplementary images. Uh, so when someone sends a ton of pictures and go, oh, make the thing, uh, it's it, very common for even within those reference images to have varying um, details. Um, and then, so if you do, are not clear about these kind of details, uh, it's within, I guess, artistic... <laughs> license to choose amongst the references which ones that they like best personally and that may not be what you're looking for um, and so that's why reference images are always important people who post I want this thing without any kind of reference images I usually have a tough time <laughs> because that could be interpreted in many ways um, you want to be clear about deadlines um, and you should expect uh, that shipping will come into play. So never place a deadline right before whatever event you have. Always give yourself 
um, weeks of lead time so that in case something goes wrong, in case shipping, in case um, your plans change, you have that wiggle room. Um, it's very common within commissioners to, if you say, oh, I need it by this convention, that they may not have it ready before, um, like until a week before the convention, in which case it's shipping, you're praying it gets to the door before um, you have to leave, and you uh, many times want to try on or attest in some way what you have commissioned. <clears throat> it's always good to get that opportunity before you go out onto the floor. Um, so, um, remember um, to give a little bit of lead time and to understand that commissioners, at least the, the more successful ones, cannot start your project right away. They have other work, the other things that they're doing at, um, at present time. So, uh, planning ahead is always preferable. Um, tip, uh, I guess six months is a good buffer time for, in many cases. Uh, you will get people who make things like that right on demand, but that's a little bit more risky. You might pay more for rushing, and um, at that point, you might just get what is sent to you because there's not much time to to fix or discuss things. Um, progress pictures are always nice, um, but hounding the, the commissioner for progress pictures doesn't always get positive feedback. Um, I, yeah, I, I, this is a thing that commissioners, um, often gripe about is that, oh, they want a progress picture every single day. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a bit overdone. Maybe one or, like, one or two a week is reasonable. Um, and always reference pictures before it's actually mailed off to you to make sure that it is with, it is acceptable. Um, and be sure to ask for things like, uh, multiple angles, maybe seeing, asking about details about putting it on, or mm, parts that are fidgety or need expl explanation, um, and anything like that in particular you want to be, you want to talk about before entering into a contract. Um, and again, this is more of being um, descriptive and not being uh, rude. Um, I will absolutely take any kind of information a customer wants um, because that's important to them. We'll discuss it, see if it's reasonable. Sometimes things are um, not reasonable. Uh, or maybe the commissioner has more insight or experience in this particular topic and so could um, could recommend a different choice. Um, and so it's also a chance if you have a conversation um, with your commissioner to feel what's it, wh whether you and them are comfortable working with each other. Um, uh, mm, try and check in with your commissioner, I would say, once a week, uh, once your project has begun to s uh, has started. Um, sometimes commissioners do kind of need a kick in the butt, as it were to make sure that they are uh, doing things, I will be honest with you here. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Um, I would always respect them, uh, because if, you, if basically, if you, you piss them off, um, they probably are going to be less cooperative. Um, and that doesn't mean bend over backwards for them. You, you're paying for a service and, a, and goods, but um, a degree of both of you being, you know, reasonable people is important. <sighs> be, be nice to each other. Everyone, be nice to each other. Be good people, right? <laughs> um, be clear with each other. Because misunderstandings are co most commonly what causes problems and disagreements. Um, yeah, it's generally misunderstandings that cause these problems. Um, I don't know. Uh, different terms apply to different commissioners as far as costs and rates and so on and so forth, so I'm not going to go into that, but um, I always prefer uh, to have some um, some stake in each party in play. So that means um, I would never, uh, I would prefer not to, I should say, have the, the entire project done 
and then get paid, and then vice versa, paid entirely, um, and then get the item. It's, um, I feel is much more successful when there is some in between. And remember that uh, contracts are um, are not set in stone. Con like when you discuss a contract with somebody, it's agreeing on terms, and so you can you can you can discuss those terms as adults. Oh, well, I have been ranting on, and I hope you get um, you find your commissioning as successful as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Good times to all. <laughs>